I judge places I've been by the dicks there. Sorry, say that. <laughs> I, I judge places um, that I've been to by the dicks over there. Okay. Right? Like, for example, Montreal. Baby. All right. French Quebec. It's the, it's the French, I guess. The French, girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The French onion soup. Money talks. Everybody come sit down. Let's have a chat. Money talks. Living life gossip. Chop it up. This or that. Money talks. Get comfortable. Because you want to show. Money talks. We just want to know. Where you been? Who you been with? Money talks. Well, well, well. On today's episode, now, Monet Talks, folks, I cannot believe that we are being graced with the presence of a very, 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 very fly mother. Okay. Okay. This is none other than Bowman. Or Bowmanizer. Which one do you prefer? Um, Bowman. Bowmanizer if you're nasty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How did Bowmanizer come about? So I am a Britney Spears stan. Okay. Stan. Okay. And I have been for a while, mm-hmm. ever since I was... Uh, 2007, eight, nine. I okay. Was nine. Which years are those? That's Circus. That's Blackout. Blackout. Yes. Okay. Blackout came out. I saw that woman on the VMA stage uh-huh. and I was like, that's my girl. <laughs> I found my pop girly. Is that the performance she did with, what's his name? The tall, tall one. No, that's G-E-Z. G-E-Z. That was like 2004. That's way later. Got it. Okay. Gimme, this was the Gimme More Gimme More era. Where she like kind of flopped. Mm-hmm. Although I think she ate. Like <laughs> to me, that was an eat. Um, and then she came out with, then it was the circus era with, which had Womanizer. Yeah, Womanizer. And yeah. that is when I was like walking around the schoolyard singing Womanizer. And then everybody else thought I was singing Bowmanizer. Oh. And then it just turned into, well, that's my name now. That's your name now. Yeah. You see, I was an early Britney Spears girly. Like, I was Britney Spears in the first three albums, and I fell off. Because Blackout is four. The Blackout is five. Five. Okay, so what was the fourth album? What was that one called? Wait. Baby. Oops. Oops. Britney. Britney. In the Zone. In the Zone. Black. Okay, I liked In the Zone, too. In the Zone was like a different In the Zone. There's some good songs on there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not a fan of every Britney album. Same. And I think it's okay to like recognize that. You don't have to be a fan of all of your faves music. Uh, I, like, I like all of Beyonce's, Beyonce's music. And she's your fave. She's my fave. Okay. Well, Beyonce, okay, oh God. The, the Beehive gonna, she's not like, Beyonce <laughs> I think is, she's one of my favorite artists, but there are others I love. Like SZA is my, is my, is my queen. So you think SZA's better than Beyonce? You heard it here. <laughs> I, 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 I stand this up. Are What's you, your least favorite Beyonce song? Least favorite Beyonce song like, would have to be- it comes on, you're like, oh, I can't listen to this. <laughs> I don't think it is one that, that I have that <laughs> such a visceral reaction to. Yeah. Um, uh, there's no one that I can't listen to. Probably one of the ones off of like the first album, Dangerous in Love. I don't really know all of those. Okay. I, I know like the, the big hits on that. That's fair. You know what I mean? That's fair. Who's your, who's your favorite artist? Who's your top artist? Well, Britney Spears is my top. Oh, she's your top. My okay. least favorite Britney Spears song is Ooh La La, the song that she made for the Smurfs movie. Oh. I can't be I can't be caught dead listening to that. <laughs> um, and I think my uh my other favorite artists, Madonna. Madonna. Huge Madonna stan. Really? Yes. See, now people get mad. People, uh, they gag at me because I'm like, I feel like Madonna was before my time, but she's definitely before oh, your time. She was before my time. I mean, like, um, Confessions on the Dance Floor. Confessions on the Dance candy. Floor. No, I'm thinking Dua Lipa. That's not Madonna. <laughs> That's not even Dua Lipa. It's not? <laughs> Murder on the dance floor. You're thinking floor. murder on the dance floor. Yeah, that's, that's not who, a, who is it then? I don't know. You don't even know who it is. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I love Madonna. I also love, get this, mm-hmm. Mark Anthony. Okay. Are you familiar? I, I yeah, I yeah, know Mark Anthony. Okay. He has a duet song with Christina Aguilera. Um, nobody. No, that's not Mark Anthony. Is that Mark Anthony? No, I'm talking about. Pero me cuero a, a ti. With him and Chris, it's one of my favorite Mark Anthony songs. Okay, I'm actually not familiar with that one. Yeah. He has a few duets that I was never like into. Yeah. But he has albums and oh. eras. Like, yeah. He's been around. Yeah, Mark Anthony has been doing it for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, which is yeah. probably why Jayla was drawn to him at first. Because, yeah. you know, he was. And guess what? Like, back then, he was really hot. Like, really back hot. then. And he still is. Our fighting word, and girl. He, he still <laughs> is. Have you ever seen young Mark Anthony? Yeah. Heart yeah. Drop. Oh, yeah. Very, 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 really very, hot. very hot. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, okay, girl, I'm from New York City. Like, the Puerto Ricans and, and Dominicans had me in a chokehold for a very long time in my life. Yeah. Yeah, Mark Anthony's 
hot. Yeah. Um, so you you came in here, you're drinking coffee at <laughs> uh, this late hour in the afternoon. When I see people, when I see lines at Starbucks at like 7 p.m., I'm like, that's crazy. What is wrong with y'all? No, I'm that's sorry, crazy. Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I completely agree with you. It's crashed out. Like that's cra- crazy how you crashed out. Yeah. No. Um, but I am in my two coffee a day era. Talk and I'm gonna to tell me. you why. So yeah, talk to me about that. I was shooting my TV show. Uh-huh. And we're gonna talk about what we're gonna talk about. <laughs> but I was shooting my show and I would have my morning coffee, uh-huh, having a great day, lunch would hit, crash. And so mm. then I needed the second dose of caffeine. To get you through. And I just haven't left that era. Like, I'm in my two coffee a day curse. Well, I don't drink coffee at all. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea. I don't, I, I'm don't. i not into it. I know people like you. <laughs> I've heard of people like you. And in fact, I'm dating somebody oh, really? like you. And actually, I will say, and I love my boyfriend, mm-hmm. but it is interesting dating somebody who isn't a coffee lover. Tell me about that. And my boyfriend is like you. Yeah. He loves like he so do loves. Do you coffee. understand? Kind of. Oh, I understand. I understand that he has a problem that he should not. He should get fixed. <laughs> if you're a coffee lover, uh-huh. you plan your whole day yes. around coffee. Yes. And being with somebody who doesn't do that, it's like, <laughs> how do we? We have like full on conversations. Like, okay, so how are we going to tackle today? <laughs> it's real. It's real. I'm trying so hard to get him to like coffee, but. Well, the t- well, what be, even people who like coffee, y'all describe it as drinking dirty water, and you don't like it. So I'm like, what? Why would I ever want? And I chase the coffee. I, I don't like coffee ice cream. I don't like okay. coffee anything. You don't like the flavor. I don't like the flavor. Of you coffee. don't even like a frappuccino. No. Okay. I mean, back in when Starbucks, uh, you know, when I was in high school and shit, everyone was drinking Starbucks. I, w- I wanted to be cool too. Yeah. So I would have a Java chip frappuccino, okay. but I hated the taste of that. Okay, so why were you getting it? Because I wanted it to be cool. Okay, that's fair. To have the little I plastic understand. Starbucks cup the, was yeah. fierce. The first time I had it, I was like, this tastes like wood. Yeah. That's I was like, ew. And then you have to add the sugars and add everything. But now I drink black. I love the taste. I love the taste. And not only that, I want to learn. Because you know how people who like coffee? Uh-huh. It's kind of similar to being like a sommelier. Like there's like different beans <laughs> yes. and different notes. Yes. I want to be that girl. Well, I'm like, girl, I wanna, I wanna how taste- different can the soil <laughs> in no. Tuscaloosa, Oklahoma no. be in Columbia? Like it can't be that, that crazy. But you know what? It is real because one time I went to a cafe and they were like, okay, so you can pick the bean. And I was like, what am I, what do you mean pick the bean? And she, they told me like, there's different notes. And I picked the one w- that had the fruity notes. Uh-huh. Girl, I tasted great. The fruity notes. I tasted <laughs> great. Tasted the grape. Yes. Now, how much of that do you think is placebo and how much of that is real, <laughs> girl? You tasted the grape. The- Bang. There was no grape in there. <laughs> no, there was no grape in there. Okay, let's let's go on to a TV show. Well, yeah. before we get there, like okay. you have taken, you like you took your, you went on you you go on TikTok and you blow up. Yeah. Now before TikTok, were you you were in uh, Ryerson University? Yes. And you were in it for what? So I was at, uh, it's actually FKA Ryerson. They changed the name to Toronto Metropolitan University. Okay. But um, I did graduate from Rye High Mm -hmm. and I was in radio and television arts. Okay, radio and television arts. Yes. Okay, what is that? What is it like? So So, you can become like a, like. Yeah, so, okay. In Canada, our university program is like very different than it is here. Like Uh here you go, like most people just go to their state university or you pick Mm -hmm. it based on the state. Because they're cheaper here because they're so crazy here. Yeah, well. In Canada, you pick it based on the program. Like Ontario, where I'm from, has like 20 different universities. Okay. Um, and then you pick it based on the program. And I wanted to go, I wanted to make TV. I wanted to make reality TV. Got it. At the time. And so I picked that university because that's what I wanted to do. And while I was there, I was bored. <laughs> I was, all my friends were like, university is so hard. I was like, I'm at the mall. <laughs> and I didn't really know like, where I fit, I did know that I wanted to become an actor. Got that it. was like, okay. I know that that's, that is where I'm most talented. I uh, felt at the time. Uh-huh. And so I uh, had no means of getting there uh-huh. over in Toronto. Uh-huh. How do you make that happen? And you like decided this in college. Like you weren't, yeah. you, were, you weren't like a, a child actor who used to go to like auditions no. and shit like that. Well, I was in, I did a lot of theater. Okay. I went it. to a performing arts high school. Same. Which was like, 
my bread and I was like, I love it here. Mm-hmm. I, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Got it. Okay. Um, and so I had an internship at Crave, which is like a big streamer yeah. in Canada. Which fun fact, Britney, Britney Spears went to my high school for like two years. Really? Mm-hmm. And she was doing it. All and you guys were friends. We yeah. were friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How old do you think I am? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, continue. So then I, I was at this internship. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I actually wrote a journal entry in this summer that mm-hmm. I had this internship and I wrote it all down. The power of manifestation. I wrote, you know what? Actually, this is what happened. What? Sorry, it's all coming back Yes, to me. yes, yes. I love the one that, that, that happens. I went to bed. <laughs> Monet, I had a dream. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream. I had a dream about my ex-boyfriend who cheated on me, oh. horrible guy. And I had this dream and I was like, wait, you know what? Maybe I miss the guy. <laughs> Maybe I want to go back. No! And so I woke up the next morning and I went through my camera roll looking for f- photos and videos of us. Uh, uh-huh. I'm like, oh my God, I have to chase this dream. Where, where's, the, where's the dream leading me to? So I'm looking for him and I, but in fact, I land on this video of myself performing my thesis, mm-hmm. um, my like theater thesis in 12th grade uh-huh. that I was like so proud of. And I'm watching it and I'm like, oh my God, wait, I'm so passionate about performing. So my dream led me to following my dreams. Yeah. I wrote a journal entry where I was Got like, it. I am going to have an audience. I'm going to have a platform. I am going to uh, live out my dreams and my passions. And I'm yeah. not going to have any regrets. Work. Wrote that all down. Then months passed by. Suddenly, TikTok, TikTok is becoming cool. It's not cool yet. Yeah. I was dating this guy who had TikTok. Uh-huh. It was a red flag. I- it was a red. It was like he was dancing all day on his little TikTok, right? It was like Bowman. He uses TikTok. Like I literally <laughs> was like this close. It was bad, and then he went viral. Oh, and I was like, he's not even funny. Oh, so if he can do it, bitch, I can do it. Yes, word. So I now I'm going to bed with tension headaches. <laughs> now I'm like, what am I gonna post on TikTok? On TikTok. Um, And so I made this video where I, uh, it was like a sketch where I was telling my other two brain cells that I was going to start making TikToks. Uh, And then like February 2020, thank you. February 2020, I start making uh, these reality TV parodies where I take mundane moments and turn them into these reality TV epics. Yeah. Uh, I made this one video where my friend coughs and it was the cough heard around the world uh-huh. and it changed my life. Yes. That is Girl. the story. Well, the production that you like, again, because I guess it's how your brain is thinking about it. It's so impressive. And then, because I was, I follow you on TikTok. I wasn't early. I was a very, I thought you were hysterical because yeah. I just thought it was just so well done. Thank you. And he would do uh, uh, you and Eden. <laughs> I, feel like, yeah. I, feel, I feel like I know Eden because of you. I'm and like obsessed with Eden. Let me tell you, Eden is obsessed with you. Oh. Yeah. Eden, I love you, girl. <laughs> I love it. I think you're so gorgeous. I think you're so funny as well. Okay, she's gonna eat that out. <laughs> she's gonna eat that out. So y'all are doing these these sketches and and and, and you you're roping like your mom into it. Yeah. Like it's just so, so, so so question. So are you like writing down these sketches or are you like just telling everyone what what uh, there was what's happening? <laughs> so um it's been a journey, yeah. The, the process. Yeah. At, at the beginning, no. Uh, if I imagine like you show your mom a script. <laughs> Like <laughs> they get scared. If My they mom see. can't read. So she wouldn't work. <laughs> um, so no, I wasn't scripting anything. Got it. Uh, I would just. It had to be fun. Like it yeah. had to just. It's TikTok. Like I can't turn it into a job. That's mm-hmm. so cringe. Yeah. Um, at least at the time. Now I have a mortgage to pay. Hey girl. So now it's a job. <laughs> but um, yeah, we didn't script anything. We were just. I was just like, I have this video where okay, last week you coughed and I had a vision. This week, I'm going to throw my head at you and say, the only thing that's fake about me is this and throw it at you. Like, I don't, we would just like improv it and have fun. Yeah. Now I write the scripts because we don't have time for yeah. improv. Yeah. There's, there's no time for And that. also you like have it a science. Like you're like, you're like, yeah, your, now it's easy. your artistic brain is like, this is what needs to be done. And like, you can like get it done on paper. It's so f- yeah. And then, so then you, then the one that again, like f- super catapulted you was the damn Kardashian <laughs> videos yeah. they're so accurate and again it's something that we've all thought about the thing but you 
were able to put it in a medium yeah. that we're like, oh my God, he is, like how? Like, yeah. Well, you know what? We were, uh, me and Eden sat down one day to make it to make a video. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, okay, the concept of this video is um, you ask me, wait, what, what's your sign again? Because as if you forgot my sign, like that's so rude. And then she was like, why don't you try to talk like a Kardashian? Like, why don't you try it out? And I was like, why? Ew, I hate that. Like, why would I do that? But then we started doing it and we were like, wait, this is stupid. It's hilarious. Bitch. It is. I will literally just like be in my house. This one day I was in my house cooking uh -huh. uh, breakfast. Uh -huh. what, what, what were you making? Were you I cooking? was making avocado toast. Avocado toast. That's my go-to. Ooh, okay. I was in avocado toast phase. I was doing, but I would go to the, to the Whole Foods. I would get mm. salmon. I would be salmon and avocado toast. I haven't gotten there yet. Delicious. Salmon for breakfast is something I have not wrapped my brain around. What? But I think you're so brave for figuring it out. <laughs> I'm also from New York City. I used to get. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. So there's a lot of. are eating different around there. Uh, girl. <laughs> and, and also on your avocado toast, put a little red, red, um, red chili flakes on there. Oh. Little, See, little I'm kick. into a breakfast bowl. Ooh. Rice. Cooking rice for the week, turning it into a bowl with avocado and an egg. Huh. It's so good. And when you're trying okay. to like beef up. Okay. So good. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna, gonna, gonna follow you though. Yeah, follow yeah, you yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're making breakfast one day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I'm making breakfast and I like it was just so fun to mm -hmm. now like talk in these voices. Yeah. And I remember there was so much going on in the world at the time. And I said that out loud in a Kardashian voice. There's so much going on. <laughs> in the world right now, <laughs> I started laughing. I started laughing. And then, the studio and, like, well. and then I thought of Eden saying so much going on, seriously. <laughs> and then I said, I think I'm gonna go talk to the UN. <laughs> and then she's like, one of my makeup artists just came back from the UN. Like, it's just so it's just dumb. So like, dumb. it's so dumb. Ridiculous. That's, that's how the show goes. That is like, literally the show. That's the show. Like, that's a, that no. is the show in a nutshell. Every yeah. time we watch it, is the, that is the show. Yeah. And I think that's up. why, because I think we all have the experience of watching the show and be like, are you kidding me? This is so stupid. What yeah. the have 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 they have any of them said or reposted or see my thing is that when like that happens they should join in on it and be like this is no, hilarious I know. like join in on it y'all I know like like let's be cool together yeah. like, like you don't have to be so uncool like yeah. let's be cool yeah let's be cool you know what I'm not doing it for their recognition I truly yeah. do it because I think they are these videos are so funny yeah and they're so much fun to make with my friends yeah. Um, but yeah. of course, like it would be so cool if they like, <laughs> like let's do the damn thing. Honestly, like come on. Like honestly, give Bowman and Eden a Skims campaign. Of them, I know. Like that. Honestly, and you know what? I've so many people have done it, done what I do. Like so many people have come after me and just blatantly copied mm -hmm. me. I want to talk about that. That sucks. Like that sucks. So this one creator. <laughs> was making uh, videos that were um, based off of, he would put inspired by Bowmanizer in the caption. Not and, putting inspired in the caption. Like that, and it's like, people will look at that and be like, I, he he literally credited you. Like, no, what's the problem? No. But and I'm like, he literally took a video like word for word almost. And then he'd get 30 million views. And of course I'm gonna be pissed because I'm not getting 30 million views. Imagine, imagine crashed out crazy how i crashed out that's wild i know and then people are like but he credited you come on come on bowman it still hurts no yeah that's bullshit. like it you're still hurts. you're taking you're literally taking my art and spitting it out, sp spitting it back out as yours and just saying also he yeah. like no that's not that's, that's not the that thing. that's not and that. you know what else too i think that uh, because I fall under this umbrella of, of like tiktoker mm -hmm. people just don't have much respect yeah. for the medium, the art form. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the struggle is like trying to convince other people that this sucks. That yeah. like when someone takes your idea, it sucks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I think that people, because of the TikTok thing and like, and they, people like are, are digesting your stuff. I think people think it's just, it's so flippant the way they can, yeah. they think they can go in and be like, well, like, yeah. cause like, I think people get jealous when they see someone who has found like a niche that is so, them and you got you do so much they don't see the hard work it takes to get to that point and yeah. like all the things that you're doing to that so to, to just say like that's someone uh recording tennis uh <laughs> and, and saying inspired by beyonce no that's her 
thing that That's she made thing. that you created. Yeah. And why is that different yeah. than the art I'm creating on TikTok? Yeah. And people are bitch, people like Bowman and all these incredible creators on TikTok are making huge livings. <laughs> mortgages, honey, <laughs> and getting their own TV show. There Bitch, talk to me about Made for TV. I want to know, you were at home creating a video, you got a call from your agent, and you were like, huh? I'm like, what? Wait, they want who? They want to work with me? Tell me, tell me. Show yeah. me to me, Rachel. Show me. So, um, the year is 2021. Mm. And I get, I think I got an email or a DM from Crave. Okay. Um, they were like, we want to work together. And so basically signed a development deal with them, which that was crazy. At the time, I kind of didn't really understand what that meant. You know what that meant, yeah. Um, but then I had they explained to me, no, this is like you getting your own TV show. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that's my biggest dream. In high school, I sat around the table with my family and we were all going around the table saying, what do you want to do when you grow up? Yeah. And I said, I want my own TV show. My brother said, why don't you make your own TV show? So in high school, I started making my own TV show called Read It and Weep. Uh -huh. What was that about? Uh, it was literally like a parody of The Real Housewives. But it was like <laughs> me and my friends. Uh -huh. um, so fast forward, here I am literally getting my own TV show. That's crazy. Um, and not only that, but I'm also an executive producer. So here we are like actually creating this show. Yeah. And I was so involved in the whole process and like actually bringing it to life. And keeping it cool. I think that's the other thing too, because I'm sure you're not uh, as familiar with Canadian TV as a whole. No. But- <laughs> I don't know a lot about Canadian but TV. But there, there is some cool stuff out there, like truly like really, really cool stuff. But there's also a lot of stuff on Canadian TV that is just kind of like, nobody's really seeing it. Mm. And I couldn't have that. I was like, people are gonna see this show and people are gonna recognize that this is like a cool show. Yeah. And so we created this concept called Made for TV. TV. And uh, it was a blast, like truly a blast. And hopefully one day it'll come to America. I mean, it. so- I guess you haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet because yeah. we don't get Crave here. I'll send you a link. Please, yeah, please, please. I want to see, I mean, I've, I've, I've saw on, saw on, saw on? Yeah, you saw on it. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> on your socials, <laughs> the trailers and stuff. And yeah. when you, they, as soon as I saw it, it was out, I went to the website to like see the full trailer. Cause I was like, oh my God, this is incredible that he has his own show. It's genius Thank and you. it's brilliant and so it's just like having your own and this is not like your own show that's on um a digital streaming thing but just on a it's network it's on crave like crave is the biggest it's like the biggest streamer in canada it's where canada's drag race is, mm -hmm. is. it's where all the hbo shows are so like people oh, are all summer long people are sh showing up to watch house of the dragon and love island uh -huh. and they're getting ads for made for tv like i mean <laughs> come on now it actually does not get better than that and in this process, you had, like, for real creative control. Like, you got oh, to... the trailer you watched, I edited. <laughs> what? Like, I was in... There was moments where I was in the editing booth, editing, like, helping to edit the episodes. I was um, in the writer's rooms. We were... Like, I was so involved. I, I lived, like, a 10-minute drive from the production Good company. Work. So I was, like, always there. Always there. And I think that's what made it such a rewarding process was, yeah. like... Not only am I like hosting and being the guy that's in the show, but I'm like fully involved. Uh, not to discredit the amazing team. No, that yeah, we of have course, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Truly, truly it's amazing like, people. It's a, but a, a, a army of people putting yes, this stuff together. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But yeah, to be involved is it's the dream. Like it's the goal. Um, mm -hmm. I see myself as like a Quinta Brunson. I want to like create TV. That's what I yeah. wanted to do before TikTok. Yeah. Uh, and that's what I'm literally doing now. So it's like, it's crazy. Well, Qu Quinta, Quinta Brunson is, an, is, a, is a prime example of this, yeah. right? Her her one little vine. Yeah. Oh, he got money. Get it, be, like catapulted her to now having one of the hit TV shows of our time, yeah. Abba Elementary, yeah. in his third season. Like, Incredible. Like sky is the limit. Yeah, sky is the limit. I think that people truly understand, understand now the, the journey of mm -hmm. social media. Uh, because in the Vine days, like nobody really thought that some of these people were going to go on to become Quinta Brunson's or like T.S. You know Madison's. I mean? T.S. Madison's. Yeah. Like, now people understand like, oh, when I follow somebody, they could go on to do great things. Yeah. Uh, and I think that it's kind of like back in the YouTube days, they were trying so hard. Girl. Were, were, you, were you on YouTube? No, I was not on okay, YouTube. Okay, you YouTube. No. 
But I remember watching my YouTubers trying to like get TV shows made yeah. and nobody took them seriously. Yeah. But now look. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you have people like Issa Rae who, who, who yeah, were, yeah, were yeah. doing it. But yeah, there were a lot of, and again, bitch, the amount of resources and time and energy you have to put in, uh, into those YouTubers that never, yeah. but now. Yeah. I mean, there the, people have this really weird relationship with TikTok like, that you hinted on. We were talking about a little bit earlier. Mm-hmm. And I'm just, I just, I just don't understand why. Like, why people have this TikToker hate? Like, what I, about TikTok makes them feel, feel insignificant? I don't, I don't know. I, I think that, um, A, I think that the smaller the screen, the less respect people have for it. Mm. I think that's kind of, there's like a psyche thing there. My God, I don't really know. wait. I, that, what is, I, maybe that's I'm good. like a, a psychologist. That's good, bitch. But, yeah. yeah, like, the, the, you think of, you go to the movies, the yeah. big screen, the silver screen TV. Yeah. Like, and t- wow, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Or also, I think that because TikTok is so broad, like, you have such a broad range of yeah. creators and influencers. Um Everybody puts, is under the same TikToker umbrella. Mm-hmm. Like, God forbid, I got a headline came out where it was like TikToker gets his own show. People just think, oh my God, some like influencer who does nothing gets his own TV show. Like, yeah, that's what you're and saying. that's not the like no no I, I'm not to like be on my own high horse, but I'm not somebody that just like makes not like does nothing. Yeah, I also believe that there's a difference between like creators and influencers. I don't think every creator has influence. I don't think every influencer is a creator. Dropping gems. I don't know. Uh, dropping gems. I mean, so I, so uh, 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 what's your name? Um, e Kane. Are, are you familiar with E Kane on TikTok? No. That is so, okay, this is another thing that blows my mind. How like, <laughs> how vast it is. How yeah. vast it is. Because yeah. in my For You page, yeah. E Kane is <laughs> huge. That's fair. Her, like, so, like, I, so much so that I see so many other channels, like, Po- like reposting her things and talking about her like her drama like it's oh. like so, so it's how vast it but you have you have what no, does E Kane do E Kane is just uh she's more of a reality person she okay. is in a tumultuous relationship with her with her with her boyfriend she has two kids and he may be a little abusive like like that kind of oh. stuff it's like drama oh geez it's drama but she's she got known for her hair but which I guess uh, like, yeah, like yeah, three yeah, weeks yeah, and yeah. stuff okay so yeah but so uh, the, the the social media scape is just so huge. It's it so huge. So, it's so vast, and it's so different. Like you can get so many. Like uh, people, if if you're a creator on TikTok, that's anything from like me, you, or like people that make satisfying videos. Mm-hmm. Like that's a huge umbrella of yeah. like different types of content yeah. creators. Uh, but there's so many different ones on my. TikTok. Yeah, who's, who's on your For You page? I am getting, obviously, Jules is all over my TikTok. Jules? The demure. Uh, oh, girl. yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All over it. Yeah. Love her. Mm-hmm. But I'm getting a lot of um, Corinna. Do you know who Corinna is? No, who the fuck is Corinna? Do you know who Corinna Okay. Oh my God, she is like America's angel. Why? She's this girl. She's like 22 or something. And she got it. She has a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And she started making, she just makes videos where she just rambles on about, Nobody even knows. So she'll make like three different videos of her talking. And then you'll just get the th- the second or third video with no context. And people are like, what are you talking about? Like, we don't get it. Huh. But she also has this boyfriend that she loves. Uh-huh. Oh my God. She's just so endearing. I'll show you her later. Okay, Corinna. But shout out to you if you're Corinna. Yeah. Corinna. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you have Jules, <laughs> Corinna. Who's the other third one? That, that probably Wendy Williams videos. Wendy Williams. Yes. Okay, that used to be on my, on my For You page a lot, but I, I, I haven't seen them so much. So good. Love her. The Shady Cameraman videos. So good. So good. What was that? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Clap if you think she should suffer. <laughs> I had that whole, of a whole bit with my friends where we just go, clap if you want to get into the bar. <laughs> and everybody claps. It works every time. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, yeah, so okay. Mine would be um, E. Kane is big on mine. Okay. Um, Jules, yeah. And, um, and Bowmanizer. Yeah. You, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah honestly, yeah. <laughs> you're big on mine. And also um, sibling rivalry videos and me and oh. Bob videos. I, I see those. Oh, I guess that's, I, right. that was, that's not a yours, though, Bowman. <laughs> I want you to know I actually watch, listen to Sibling Rivalry. Do you really? Every, well, first of all. No, you don't. I could literally prove it to you right now. Really? It is the only podcast I actually listen to. Unless there's like a another podcast where it's like a one-off interview yeah. or something, yeah. like a Call Her Daddy. Oh my God. I listen to her as one-off she's, too. She's great. She's really good. Well, she, she blows my mind. Um, Alex Cooper. Did you see her $125 million deal? 200 million that we wanted with the Spotify one? Yeah. It was 200 million. Crazy. 
So, oh no, sorry, no, you're right. It's 125. I'm thinking about something else. Like, so, because, and what blows my mind is that before she got into the space, she was not, like, she was not in it. Like, she, no. she was not into doing that. She, 2019 came around. She's like, you know, I want to start doing a podcast. And she starts, and like two years later, she gets this $125 million lead by Spotify. insane. That, Over that, that's three years. Wild. That's wild. Do you think I should start a podcast? Like, do you think it's like, it's the vibe. Like, is it the obviously like you're you have well, this is a YouTube chat show. Okay. That will also be going out as a podcast. <laughs> 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 yes, it's probably a podcast too. Okay. Um, I, I think you seem like someone people would really enjoy talking to. Like you're okay. very easy to talk to. Okay. And you and like I'd like to talk. So I would do anything that I can just talk to and talk at people, I am yeah. one thousand percent into. Yeah. And you seem like you everyone would just easily talk to you. You're you very easy it, to talk to. Do you to. think it's smarter to do like you obviously you have sibling sibling rivalry with Bob, mm-hmm. but like is it better to do it with a friend or is it better to do it on your own? I think with a friend. Yeah. I really enjoy, I think that Bob got me into my love of podcasts. I mean, I always wanted a talk show and like a chat, something like that yeah. when I had. Back well, in the, the day, exchange rate eight. I missed that Because I was so watching much. that too. You remember our lore? Our lore. Who's that? Who's that? Our lore? Our lore? Yes. What's our lore? I told, so we hosted a TikTok uh, thing. Yes. I, yes, I do remember that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like I like when I when it comes to like my girls, like you're one of them. A hundred, oh like you're God. probably the girl. A hundred percent. This is the lore. <laughs> In 2019, <laughs> a, a young man, let's call him Bowman, <laughs> goes. It's Toronto Pride. Toronto Pride. And yeah. I, my friends are all like Bowman. We're going to Cabana, <laughs> and the musical guest. Was Monet Exchange <laughs> that rooftop thing? Yes, yes. Um, and so we go. It was raining, so they moved it inside. Yes. And me and my friend Simon, we go to the front, and in comes Monet Exchange. We are posted up in the front row. We are like living. <laughs> <laughs> then a year goes by. Now there's a pandemic. Mm-hmm. Now I'm on TikTok. And somebody's like, Bowman, you're going to host a Pride TikTok panel with Monet Exchange. Yeah. Are you joking? <laughs> That's so crazy. And bitch, look at me now. Yes. When I was thinking about guests for the show, like if people don't realize, like every guest y'all have seen is someone that I really find really interesting and I would jump at the bit to have them on the show. So I, a lot of people are people I DM'd. Some people are are, are through publicists because uh, I have a publicist, et cetera. But Bowman was someone, I was like, I'm not even going to wait for the publicist. I'm going to go straight <laughs> to him, see if I can have him on the show. Because I'm just, I think and you're just- God. So brilliant. I think, and Thank I just you. love what you have done with like your time in the sun. Like, Thank bitches you. wish they could get TV shows. You know Girl. what I mean? And it's really, really, it's hard as fuck. It's hard. And you got it done, you know? Period. So kudos, kudos, kudos to you. Thank you. Now, uh-oh. you are in Los Angeles. <laughs> you don't live in Los Angeles. Uh uh-uh. uh. Why are you here? I love the sun. I love um, <laughs> the weather here is uh, really nice. And that's why, no, um, I have a boyfriend. Uh huh. Uh, Probably by the time this podcast comes out, you'll be engaged. We'll be engaged. No, not. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, okay. like, oh my God. <laughs> that was way too easy. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. No, um, we will have hard launched. Oh. Yes. And uh, we've been dating for a year and a half. Work. Okay. But we have yet to hard launch. Bitch. Yes. That is. Fear. So yeah. I am dating someone mm-hmm. and he is all like, people don't understand like this is like the so the thing y'all see on social media, this is our lives, right? Yeah. And like to put a partner or someone in it, it's a lot, bitch. No one knew Issa Rae was, was dating someone until she just announced she was married. People were like, what? Yeah. She got married over the weekend? Yeah. Like she has a boyfriend? Yeah. Quinta Brunson went years without even was showing her partner because she was like, y'all are savage and y'all are rude yeah. and nasty and mean. Yeah. J- Jackie Ina, oh, Jackie Ina's on my For You page a lot too. Jackie Ina changed her last name to her, to her, to her fiance, started blocking everyone. Really? Because everyone was like, oh, she's married. But Jack, she does not play. No, she doesn't. She does not play. She does not play at all. So like, waiting a year and a half to hard launch, I think is, I yeah. In hindsight, like it actually makes sense. I, I, it's such a weird thing to do because he also is a TikToker, Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of like we had these this feeling of like. We want a hard launch, but we also don't want to be like known for being in a couple. Yeah. Like that is where things get scary because we have yeah. friends that 
were in a couple. Girl, I, don't, I probably know the voice <laughs> you about, girl. probably know the voice uh, I'm talking about. And yeah. like, when things go south, it's like, obviously that's hard as yeah. it is, but having like people ask questions and like, it, it, like be in your business, like Too that much. is... That's scary. It's scary. That's scary. And I don't. I'm no shade. I don't want people linking me to you for the rest of my career no. or my life. Like I'm working hard to do my my own. I don't need yeah. everyone saying, yeah. "Look, is it, no." Yeah. And, but y'all, I mean, my person, he's a civilian. He's part of Gen Pop. He does nothing <laughs> in the industry at all. Not Gen Pop, girl, Gen Pop. So, but you are someone who is in the industry. Yeah. That could, that's that's an even even more of a reason to wait that yeah. long. Yeah. But yeah. it's also like at this point, we just want to like. Be proud about it. Yeah. Be honest about it. Yeah. Um, I want to be able to like include him in my life and yeah. like photos and videos and stuff. So it just kind of like made sense. Also, we did um we had an article written about us, like a, a Toronto Star article. Uh, and I got the opportunity for it and sent it to him as a joke. Uh -huh. I was like, oh my God, this is so this is ridiculous. And he was like, wait. Like, maybe we should actually do it. Work. So, we hard launched in the press, which is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Did y'all meet at a in, in, industry event, or this was y'all met through the DMs? Can I tell you the story? Yes, girl, okay. I want to know. It's a good story. Okay. Bear with me. Uh-huh. The year is 2023. <laughs> I a love A handsome young man, much like myself. Uh-huh. Uh, my friend comes over, my friend Eric. Uh -huh. He also makes TikToks. Eric comes over to visit me in Toronto, and he's like, we're hanging out and he was like, you should really meet my friend Brant. And I was like, um, why? Me thinking he's going to show me a photo of like the Loch Ness monster. Like <laughs> you should meet my gay friend, like a tale as old as time. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Um, and so shows me a photo. I was like, wait, I like Brant. Uh -huh. Who's that? So, um, we, so that, so one day, I message him, we start talking, and eventually I go to LA for an event. Okay. And the day after, he was like, let's hang out. I didn't know if this was a date, uh -huh. okay? I had no idea because we hadn't used like the date word. Yeah. We've just been like flirting. I hate, well, see, I hate going on a date and I don't know if it's a date. I need to yeah. know, girl. Well, in hindsight, I should have known. This boy okay. was sending me like options of things to do, like, Okay. Like he just put on so much effort. So we yeah. go on a date. I really liked him. Hey, so like, do I, do I, might do it. Should, I, should I put some Listerine in my booty hole? Like what's going on? I know. You know? I Like how do I prepare for this? Yeah. Okay. We went, on a, we went on a hike. We, the hike turned into this, turned into that, like the whole day. And now mind you, I don't live here. Uh-huh. And I'm going back in two days. Yeah. So I'm like, after the date, the date, the hang. Uh-huh. You're uh, falling already. I'm like, oh, I like this boy. <laughs> uh, and so I go back to my hotel. I went out with some other friends that night. And they were like, Bowman, just ask him to hang out tomorrow. I was like, wait, you're right. Yes. So I did that. Uh huh. I asked him to hang out. Now we have a, a date to hang out day two. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, now, okay, here's a question on day yeah. two. Are you picking now or are you still making him do the, the heavy lifting? No, I, he's doing all the heavy lifting. And I don't live here. So you 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 so, can, you can. Google is free. <laughs> I don't live here, and it's it, like I I don't know what to do here. Like I just I don't know. Yeah, and I don't want to be cringe. Like let's go see the Hollywood sign. Like yeah. what am I gonna say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so what I did do is I woke up that morning, <laughs> and something told me in my head the boy likes chocolate covered strawberries. Really? Yeah. You had a you had a, a, a I had a premonition. premonition. Yeah. yeah. So I. Something said, get him chocolate covered strawberries. I call pavilions. I ask them to make me chocolate covered strawberries. A friend takes me to go pick them up. I take them in my little plastic baggie <laughs> and I go to his house. Mm -hmm. I'm like posted up like, hey, um, I had a whole speech planned. Uh -huh. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna thank him for all of the effort that he put into our date yesterday. Oh, and as a that's thank so you, sweet. I'm gonna give him the strawberries. So I I'm like, hi, and he immediately snatches it from my hand, opens it. And I'm like, uh. You didn't do your speech, are you prepared? I didn't do my speech, I prepared. So here's what he does. He reaches into the bag, he pulls them out, and he goes, oh. And I go, um, yeah. <laughs> Monet, in my head, I'm like, oh my God, he just wants to be friends. Yeah, that's, a, that's the vibe be, I would get. He just wants to be friends. He takes the strawberries. He goes, oh, thanks. I'm so excited to eat these and puts them on the counter. 
I felt my skin mortified slide off my body. Kill me. So anyway, anyway, I don't know why he reacted like that. Like so weird. Then we sit on the couch. Now we're talking again. I find my footing. We just kind of like ignored the straw. Like, I don't know why we ignored that. <laughs> you're anyway. Like, you're like any, anywhere with berries in it. Yes. You're like, I don't, um, <laughs> this drink, like, can I have a sh- uh, And like, he really said he's allergic. <laughs> I, I am just like trying to kill him. I don't know. <laughs> so we sit on the couch. We, whatever, we're talking. And then it was like, we've now we're talking for two hours. And then we're like, we're hungry. Let's go get pizza. We go get pizza. We bring the pizza home. He puts the pizza on the counter and he goes, I just want to thank you, by the way, for the strawberries. I'm so ex- I'm so sorry for how I reacted. Oh, so he knew he was f-ing weird about the damn strawberries. Good. So, so he, he apologized. And I go, oh, no, 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 that's okay. And then he goes, well, it's really because he opens the fridge to reveal a tray of chocolate-covered strawberries that he had made for me oh, that morning. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Isn't that so sweet? <laughs> We both woke up with the idea. Oh my god, I have to get him chocolate covered strawberries. Chocolate covered chocolate covered strawberries. To the, that day is our anniversary. Yeah. Okay. Now, was this fast? Was this like that weekend? Y'all, y'all, you, you weren't texting or hitting anybody else up. Like you were just focused on him, or you were still. I was focused on him. Work. Yeah. I was. I was. I was. A, I was a fast mover too. Like me and my boyfriend were yeah. not on like a Sunday. But like Wednesday, I'm like, oh, like I, <laughs> when I met Sunday him, to Wednesday, girl, it was Sunday. I was like, oh, I want to gonna, I want this person to, to be my boyfriend. I like cut it off with everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're all so long distance. Yeah. So like, there has to be trust. Yeah, totally. You know I mean? so, yeah. Oh, so you're a full monago. Oh yeah. Work. So you don't, you don't believe in the poly open situation? Um, I don't. I'm asking for I, you. Uh, <laughs> um, we actually watched a, a show called Couple to Thruple. Ooh. Have you heard of this show? No. Uh, it was the most interesting show we've maybe ever seen. Like Couple it was so interesting. Couples go on this show to become a thruple. Crazy. Huh. So there's like the couples and then the daters. And then they all like try to find their like third person. Really good show, okay. and everybody's sleeping on it. Anyway, to answer your question, is this on Crave? No, this is on Peacock. Peacock, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. To answer your question, um, I don't know that I. I don't think it's for me. Like, I don't think it's something that I could do. Mm-hmm. I think the idea of like my partner being with someone else, like, mm-mm. yeah, that's that's my man. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, but I'm sure it works for other people. Yeah, yeah. It I works mean, for you. You guys do it. No. Well, wait. My wife and I, we were monogamous for a long time. And then we had opened things up. Then we had closed them down again. We opened things up. Okay. So we had like went back and forth. But like for the first uh what year, we were completely monogamous. And mm-hmm. then we like tried like a month of opening things, like things like that. Like how yeah. we went. Um and yeah, I think that I think I mean I know people who like, you know, who are open from day one. They open and poly from day one. To me, that's wild. Like it's that's- a we have to build trust and mm-hmm. like really be communicating. Like I mm-hmm. think that those things have to be working really well before you can open things up. But I think I, in my head, if I were to do it, I'd rather do it from the jump than open it up later. What? Why? Yeah, because I feel like you have to establish the relationship for what it is. Like if this is a thing where we're going to like open it up and do our own thing, like mm-hmm. let's do that early rather than like years later, once we've been like, we've created this connection. I mm-hmm. feel like that is where, Things really? Start. Yeah, because that's I'm so like, in my head, that's because one person wants it and the other person doesn't want it as much. Mm. Like, if you both come to the table wanting it, I feel like that makes sense to me. Interesting. That's a very yeah. interesting POV on that. Huh. Well, I mean, because I listened to um, Dan Savage has a book about this. He talks about Dan Savage is a, is a longtime sex uh I don't know what you. He's not a therapist. I'm he's a therapist. Yeah. Sex connoisseur. <laughs> so he's been with his husband for like 20, 70 years or something like that. And the first five years they were monogamous and they opened things up for two years and they go like ebb and flow through in and out. They have kids. And um. So yeah, I I, I don't know. I guess like it's different strokes for different folks. I, I don't think, know. Yeah, I think so. And also like. I think people change as they grow totally. up too. Like you better, like you. Don't, yeah, I should not be the same from the beginning. Like, yeah, no. how we how we entered it. Like exactly. I am going to change. I'm going to grow and change. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so I mean, me. does this mean you're going to move to LA soon? I'd love to be by coastal. Yeah, I love Toronto you in love the Toronto. summer. I want to say, girl, in the winter it is girl, brutal. Do not come. <laughs> do not come. <laughs> That's a quote, Do not come. <laughs> do not come. It is scary in the winter and yeah. not necessarily just for the cold but it's like it's like london where we have overcast like yeah we'll have overcast for 32 days straight 
Yeah. That's what I can't do. But I do so, like, I love London though. I do I like it there. London. It is pretty. I love London. Do you think you'll, you live here. I live here in LA. Do you think you'll stay here? You know, at least for the next uh, tennis years or so. Yeah. I just bought a place. You don't miss New York. Girl, no, I'm born from, I'm from there. I'm born and raised. I feel like in my head, like New York just makes sense. For me or for just anyone? For anybody. I love New York, but also I'm there so much for work anyway. Yeah. Like I've been in New York every month. I've been yeah. in New York and London every month since the year started. Okay. I understand is, that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm not like missing it. And just the ease of life here in LA is, is very, is very happy to me right What now. is your favorite and least favorite thing about living here? Ooh, my favorite thing about LA would have to be the weather. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. The weather is my favorite the thing. The weather here. eats. The weather is my favorite thing. That's why I left New York City. It was it was uh December of 20. Mm -hmm. And this first pandemic winter was I don't know if you remember in, in, in Toronto, but in New York, it was it was Horrible. so cold. Horrible. So much snow. And me and my sister Patty, we were like, I had like a a a gig with Truly Heart Seltzer. I was doing a, a campaign for them. And we were rolling my damn suitcases in the <laughs> snow. And I was sitting there, I was like, Patty, what the am I doing here? Yeah. And literally I, um, three weeks, three months later, I moved to LA. I was like, oh, I'm that worried. was, that was the tea. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was like, I can't, I don't have to do this. It, if you don't have to do it, why would you like yeah. winter sucks? sucks. It sucks. Yeah. Especially as a creative. Like, I don't want to do all that. Yeah. Okay. Least favorite. Have you ever seen that guy on TikTok? Oh. I don't know if he's on your part, your, your, for your page, a really hot black guy who does like acrobatic tricks on ice. Like he does these flips and things. No. Oh my God, he's so hot. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Um, Just but, a little break for little our sponsor, break. the acrobatic guy I on TikTok. Always have a break for a hot guy. <laughs> I judge places I've been by the d there. Sorry, say that. <laughs> <laughs> people, people, a long time listeners, that I, I judge places um, that I've been to by the d over there. Okay. Right? Like, for example, um, oh, what's the place? Uh, Brazil. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Great. Okay. And what about Toronto? Toronto. Actually, good time. I had a great time <laughs> in Toronto. Lovely, okay, lovely, great. uncircumcised people. Montreal. Baby. All right. French Quebec. It's the, it's the French, I guess. The French, girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The French onion soup. Anyway, so <laughs> I, um, uh, oh, my least favorite thing about LA, um, maybe the traffic. But like, I don't, when people complain about LA traffic, I'm like, there's traffic everywhere. Like, there was traffic yeah. in new york to get except in new york to go like three avenues can take you like an hour yeah you know what i mean so yeah. there's traffic everywhere but yeah for me i don't know i, I love driving here i love you love drive I, you I know what driving. i will say recently uh my boyfriend let me drive his car like uh -huh. for the first time Ooh, that is visit. trust and love that's trust and love and so i got to drive his car mm -hmm. and suddenly my perspective on this city changed I love driving. Okay. Like I, if I can get myself around, I love it. I'm not as much of a passenger princess. Mm, okay. And so being able to actually drive around here, I'm like, okay, wait, maybe I actually get it a little bit. Is driving big in Toronto? Y'all have big good yeah. public transport, right? We, well, Toronto, like it, it, the downtown is very walkable. Okay. Um, especially in the summer and yeah. you can bike everywhere, but Toronto is, it's like the fourth biggest city in yeah, North America. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's actually huge. Yeah. So you kind of need a car to get other places. Okay. Um, so you drive at home in Toronto. Yes. Work. Yes. And I love my car. Um, but I feel like not being able to drive here makes it hard to love this city. Okay. Because yeah. sitting in an Uber is like. The worst the here. The worst. The worst. And yeah. especially when I moved here in like 21 of March, like. There was, I mean, March 21, there was, Ubers would take so long because of the pandemic. Like, you would wait, like, 25, 30 minutes. And I know people, like, kimchi yeah. did not have a car until, like, recently. I'm like, you lived this long in L.A. without a car? That Bitch, is how? wild. Trixie doesn't drive. Trixie takes Ubers everywhere. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy because also, like, an Uber black in this city, too. $150. So expensive. Girl. And those are the only Ubers that show up. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm getting those all the time. It's scary. The regulars be like, oh, I guess. Where you going? <laughs> Downtown? Uh-uh. And ride canceled. And this is the thing about LA. If, you, if you've if you never been here, maybe it's an American thing. What? All of your cars are broke down, crashed out, <laughs> falling apart on the highway. Tired. Like when people say this city is Grand Theft Auto, they mean it. Like your cars are banged, <laughs> crashed out. It's the Ubers, girl. Girl, what? <laughs>
uh, Toyota Camry, black Toyota Camry pulls up. And Girl, the, y'all the got cars I've open. never seen before. <laughs> It's scary. That's hilarious. Yeah, that scary. is a great. Do you do stand up? No. Would you do stand up? I am terrified of doing stand up. I think that's something that I, the idea. I, I know that I'm funny. Like I could tell You're a hilarious. joke. Yeah. But the idea of like writing jokes to do for a crowd is like terrifying to me. Really? Yeah. But you write jokes. But to like for, do with my friends, like it's. Yeah. I think my approach to comedy is so comfortable. Like mm-hmm. I'm not outside of my comfort zone at all. Maybe one day. Honestly, just literally, what you just did about the cabs, <laughs> literally just take that idea and just go with it and okay. you have like a, a good a good little set. We could workshop it together. Yeah. yeah. I think you would, girl. Girl, listen, I, I don't want to add, I, I know your thing is TV, you want to do TV, whatever, but bitch, you could be a f- s- big comedy superstar selling out arenas and sh- Maybe I should go for it. Or you should. Pop you know, star, you know, comedy superstar. Well, can I say something? It. The thing about stand-up comedy that that got me that my my brain was like, Poof. like because for stand-up the the lift is so low. It is you and a microphone and a stool and a bottle of water. Okay, so yeah. there's no overhead as opposed to you know when you're a, 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 a musical artist, whatever bitch. You have the band, you yeah. have the dancers, you have yeah. the, the lightning tech, the lighting yeah. tech. It's just crazy. Like yeah. Gabriel Iglesias. I don't know if you, you yeah. You, he sold out Dodger Stadium for two nights in a row. That's that is wild. eighty thousand seats. That's wild. Two nights. So when you were like, "Oh, I'm going to do stand up," mm-hmm. did you think, "No, easy, no problem"? No. Like, was did it come? Does it come naturally to you? I You're was mortified. Obviously, naturally funny, but I was mortified. I was very terrified. Yeah. Um, my agent was like, um, "I was minding my own gay own business." <laughs> And then he was like, "Hey, what is you should um, this offer from this comp- company wants you to do stand up?" I was like, "I was like, I don't do stand up. I can't do like a stand up thing." He's like, no, then "He's like, um, he's like, I've seen you in New York. You can do stand up." And I'm like, "I don't do stand up in New York." And then I got to thinking. He was like, "You stand up. You'll be on stage for two hours by yourself, telling jokes, telling stories, and keeping a room full of of, of drunk homosexuals." their attention for two hours. And I was like, the drunk is an important part of this. Yeah. I guess too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's drunk. Mm. And I was like, Oh, I guess. <laughs> and then, so I just sat my butt down. I was just writing a bunch of material. And I, you know, I have people like Mateo Lane and Bob to be like, yeah. Oh, like to give me some guidance. My only regret about my first special. And I will talk about this. I don't think I ever said on camera. I hate my first special because most comedians, when y'all see these standard specials, mm-hmm. they've been doing the material for like a year. They have been doing it at different spots. Mm. They have like perfected the year. Yeah. I recorded my first special after the second show. Okay. So <laughs> I am, I I, 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 I hate, I, I can't even watch I'm the whole sure thing. I'm sure it's still funny though. I don't think it's funny. Oh, so geez. I do not like it at all, but it exists in the world. Please yeah. watch it, whatever, I don't care. Um, so, but I am going to record one again soon and I'm very happy that it's material that I've worked on and it's really going to yeah, be yeah, yeah. something I'm proud of, you know? Okay, so maybe I'll try it. Try it, girl. Maybe I'll try it. And you already have access, so, you know, people will, like, give you some time on stage and you can be like, yeah. I think after you do the first couple, you'll be like, oh, bitch. I went to um, Noelle Miller. Are you familiar with Noelle no, Miller? No, no, no. Um, YouTuber. Mm-hmm. And he was in town one day and was like, Bowman, come to my show. Went to his show. I have never laughed like that. Like, I feel like I, I think the the thing is for me I have such a respect for stand up comedians mm-hmm. that to me it's like unapproachable like I'm like oh that's not me yeah and in my head too it's like so ingrained in these people's personalities to mm. do that yeah maybe it's ingrained in mine and I'm just in denial yeah but I mean girl we'll how, what are you twenty five. I'm 19. <laughs> 26. You have a whole, bitch, your career is just getting, and it's such a, it's such a big way already. You have nothing yeah. but time to yeah, like, you're right. try stuff that you like and you don't like. What's something you want to do that you are yet to do? Ooh, I would love to be on Broadway. Mm. I would love to be on Broadway and yeah. do something at the Met, you know, the biggest opera, opera house in the world. Like, the Wiz, I think it's off. I think it just came off Broadway, but I was like, I was watching it. I was like, there is no reason why The Wiz should not be in drag. I, like, no, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like the for The Wiz first comes out. I do my whole big number. I'm The Wiz, blah 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 blah, and then the show happens, 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 and they come back to Emerald City, and and, and the first number, I'm in full get in full drag, like mm-hmm. Wiz drag, yeah. and they come back to the Emerald City, and it's me out of drag, like, oops. So like they speak behind the curtain and realize I'm just some fake dude. It would have been fierce. No, that's sickening. You know what I mean? That would have been sickening. But, you know, yeah. so those are my two things. I would love to be on Broadway and I would okay. love to do something at the Met. 
Broadway, Broadway would be so cool. Yeah, for that sure. is cool. For sure, for yeah. sure, for sure. Bowman. Monet. I cannot believe I had you on the show. I'm so happy to have you here. You can't believe it. I can't believe it. No, no. I like truly a pleasure to share this time with you. Thank you. Um, have me back any day. Girl, are you kidding me? I'm sure. Because in my mind, it's going to be the Alex Cooper, uh, uh, Monet's going to be uh, call, call Her Daddy part, part version two. <laughs> $125 million. $125 million deal tomorrow. And tomorrow. And I'll see you in, actually, in two years when you yeah. have um, blown up even more than you have. And we can talk about all your we'll brand new back. projects. Yeah. And we'll, and hopefully we'll, we'll bring Brent that yeah. time. We'll bring Brent. <laughs> thank you, Bowman. Thank you, Monet. And listen, thank y'all for listening to this episode of Monet Talks, right? Isn't Bowman everything? Bowman, where can we, people am. find you? I Just in case everything. they don't know. Uh, at Bowmanizer on Instagram, TikTok, and X. Ooh, oh my God, are you on X? Thank you. I am. I can't believe you called it. I'm on I'm on X, but I changed my handle to Bo Crave, and I tweet about myself as if I'm Pop Crave. <laughs> Wait, your new single, my new single. How would we not talk about? Sorry, I forgot even the marketing that you are doing Thank on you. that single. <laughs> Thank because you. Because at first you popped up, I was like, oh, but she better work. He better. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, you trolling us, but it's so smart. Yeah. Talk I'm having it. a good time being a troll. Like, it's it is so good. It is fun. It is so good. But stream, I have a thing. Uh, <laughs> And stream the remix, which is coming out very shortly. Because I, I think stems from the Kardashian yeah, um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. parodies yeah. work. Thank you guys all for watching. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. Mwah. Morning talks.